Hey guys, Randy with Low Buck LS here, and this week I'm shooting a video at my kitchen table. The wife's away, so we're filming in the kitchen. So this week we're gonna have a quick look at PCM Hammer and learn how you can use it to use one of these cables to connect to one of these uh, uh, GM PCM, the computer for your uh, LS swap, and learn how to tune it without using HP tuners and paying a hundred bucks for credit. So if you're interested in learning how to use PCM Hammer, stick around, we'll get right into it. All right, so like I said, we're gonna try and use PCM Hammer to connect to this uh, to 0411 or P01 uh, PCM out of uh, I think this is out of a 01-ish, uh, like a Chevy Silverado 1500 with, can't remember what engine this one was out of, but um, we should be able to see that from the VIN when we connect to it. So uh, a couple other, a lot of guys used these uh, OBD Link MX Plus to uh, connect PCM Hammer. But my laptop doesn't have uh, Bluetooth capability. So I'm gonna use this Mongoose, uh, what is it? Uh, Mongoose Pro GM2 by Drew Technologies. Uh, another option you can use. We're not gonna use HP tuners because that would cost two credits, but you can also use the uh, VCX Nano. So I'll fire up my laptop now and we will get PCM Hammer installed and uh, then we'll try and hook up and read the bin file out of this uh, PCM. So bin file is just the raw data in like hexadecimal form that the computer pulls out and PCM hammer can't make any changes to it. You need a program like Tuner Pro or Universal Patcher to make changes to it. So not sure if we're gonna get into that in this video. I'm gonna try to keep them short, but uh, we'll definitely look into PCM Hammer and try and get the bin file out of this computer. Okay, so we're gonna install PCM Hammer. So we're gonna go to Google and see my old searches on PCM Hammer there versus LS Droid. That's another program that um, people use to read these uh, GM PCMs, but it's based on Android. And I don't have anything Android, so PCM Hammer is the one we're going to go with. Um, and this first link that comes up in Google, Legacy NSFW PCM Hacks. Click on that one. You can see I've already clicked on it before. And we're going to go to installation. This link right here. And the latest as of today's date, June 29th, 2022, is release 021. So we're going to scroll down and there is a zip file right here. We're gonna click on that and it's gonna start downloading here. And it looks like it's done. So we're gonna go look at that in our downloads folder. Right click on it. We'll extract all. And it's gonna unzip 125 items. And now you're gonna see this extracted folder. We'll just click on that. And there's actually nothing to install. All you gotta do to start PCM Hammer is find this one that says application, 456 kilobytes, click on that. And Windows doesn't like it because I downloaded it off the internet. So we go to more info and run anyway. Close this downloads folder, close Chrome. <clears throat> And you can see 
it's already hooked up and found my device here so uh yeah that's the one we're using mongoose pro there's a couple options if you want to use uh like another cable i've used is the obd link ex and for that i use this serial port deal but with the, the mongoose pro from drew tech or vcx nano you select this j2534 device and then go device type and you can also use like the bosch mdi or mdi2 like the gm dealership techs use but for now I've, I've tested all these different options the vx diag and the obd link ex and the mongoose pro is the fastest one for me so i'm gonna move this window out of the way and then we'll hit test and it says unable to connect to device so i shouldn't have messed with it <laughs> we'll close we'll go okay here and well, now it's back to saying the device is fine so um i've already got my bench harness hooked up to my uh, pcm on the chair here using that mongoose cable so we're going to try read properties and there you can see that's the vin um so yeah you can that's the truck it came out of four by four uh t so yeah i believe that's the 5.3 liter lm7 and one number that you'll want to remember or write down is this os id operating system id 12208322 because if you're using tuner pro you're going to need to find an xdf file that matches that os id um, and the xdf is basically a file that interprets that raw hexadecimal data in the bin file and puts it into like charts and tables like hp tuners so a human can recognize it because otherwise you'd need like a hex editor and it would just look like a bunch of letters and numbers so unless you knew exactly what you were dealing with that would be a very difficult process so that's the os operating system we're dealing with one two two zero eight three two two so now we're going to read the calibration the bin file out of this pcm that i've got sitting on the chair hooked up so we're going to go read entire pcm and we'll save it i'll just call it youtube test and it's just going to save in that pcm hammer 021 folder remember that my PCM has been powered on through that bench harness for at least 10 seconds so we'll continue and it's trying to switch to high speed mode it's uploading a kernel and now you can see it is starting to read the PCM at about 30 kilobytes or bits per second and so it's going to take two minutes to do that so we'll fast forward right now and come back when that's done and just finishing up here you can see it's going to do a bunch of checks crc cyclical redundancy check and everything is successful we got a message up here saying the read is complete and we had an excellent connection to the PCM uh, but basically everything was a success so that bin file that we've got saved uh, called YouTube test um, should be fine and we should be able to um, be able to open it in Tuner Pro or Universal Patcher and do things like remove DATs and disable DTCs and check engine lights and codes for your rear O2 sensors and all that type of thing. All right, guys, I think we're gonna wrap this one up. Like I said, I wanna not keep these too long. So uh, that was basically an introduction, how to install PCM Hammer and how to get that bin file off of your uh, 
P01 or 0411 PCM for your uh, LS swap. So um, next week we'll get into using that Tuner Pro or Universal Patcher to uh, disable that and do some basic tuning on that. So stick around, we'll see you on the next one.